there's a reason for me to live. This is the moment. Four wheel drive, mud, chainsaw, shotguns, fishing. You are. That's expedition. You. Chris Owen's brain was taken apart. There's parts missing. Screws aren't there. He blocked. Have you ever been sprayed in the face with bear mace? Seven times. When I have my life in his hands, I'm scared. Out fishing with the drug cartel. Bad in Salt Lake City, Utah. Guy that really cut loose sometimes. But also really worry about what's going down. I'm a little apprehensive. I'm a little nervous. Oh. Good to be cocky. Oh, yeah, That's serious. I want to come home in one piece. Brian, like the MacGyver. On the he's the kind of guy you want in a fossil organizing machine. He's a researcher machine, okay? He's got all the latest GPS, satellite, map technology. I'm not kidding you. That guy is Jerry Rick. So much stuff. We're not going to pretend to be pro bass fishermen. Um, we actually really don't know what we're doing half the time, but we're doing it anyway. It's going under the trees. No motor, it's going down the rafters. Hey, let me grab the motor. Reverse. Back, 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 back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. About two months ago, we started planning this trip to Columbia, and we wanted to find a place that we could really plan our own expedition in here. We didn't want to get catered. We didn't want to go on some Brazilian riverboat trip. We wanted to get deep into Columbia and it's taken a lot of research, a lot of time on the computer, scouring the maps, scouring the internet. We had to figure this out on our own, and you know, Columbia is a huge country. Trying to find some information on the, the fishery here in Columbia, and uh, there's just next to nothing out there. The goal with our adventure into Colombia was we wanted to get into some big peacock bass. But most of the time you hear people going into Brazil trying to catch these big peacocks. 20 years ago, there was a lot of records that came from the Colombia river systems. We just stared at maps for weeks and weeks just trying to figure out exactly the place that was going to throw down for us. We found this guy that wrote an article back in 2001. And we read it, and it's like, wow, man, that sounds like exactly what we want to do. And Nick Alano was his name. I got an email asking me if I was the person that had written an article about fishing in the Rio Tomot. We got to chatting, and I thought it was an exciting thing. So I said, OK, let's set it up. I'm coming. There's a couple river systems that we want to check out. And you know, as the weeks unfolded and we started getting closer to the trip, we got a permit to get into a river system that no one gets into. I mean, for us, this is kind of a crapshoot because we don't know if it's gonna be a guaranteed thing or not. We don't know if there's fish around at all. I mean, we just don't know that until we actually get out there and, and see for ourselves. It's a long time coming. We just jumped on a plane, Columbia. I mean, we've done our research. We know that getting into this place is definitely not gonna be easy. This is hardcore fishing, but the fish are there. The big fish are there. The monster fish are there. We're going after these fish in an area that nobody is allowed to go into. You hear these stories of these fish, but nobody knows if it's true. I don't know if it's gonna happen. We've gotta go find out for ourselves. Flew 600 miles out into the middle of nowhere. If Brazil is the asshole of the Amazon, we're probably in the armpit. Now fish doom is coming back into full effect, or we're gonna get our ass kicked like normal. We had to take these trucks out here because it was gonna take literally like two days to go down the river to get to the mouth of the rivers that we're gonna start fishing in. Just left this local fishing village and we've got about five hours to go until we're gonna reach our put in in the river. It's not gonna be a comfortable ride. It's like a high desert here. And these guys think they're on the, the Columbia 1000. The road ends up here, so we're gonna do some trailblazing. The only way that we could get across these rivers in our way was to use some of the local ferry systems that they had in place. You checking that out? What do we got? <laughs> it's like a ferry to me anyway. I think you know a bit about yeah. the first river crossing. I think we got like two more after this. And this is basically just a rudimentary barge that they've got a 40 horsepower motor on the back of. Jay loves ferries. I'm not afraid to You're say not it. You're not gonna puke when you get the other side, are you? Possibility. They lower a ramp, you drive your vehicle on top of it, and then they try to shuttle you across the river. Well, the ferry that's supposed to get us across the river ran out of gas. Luckily, the trucks made it across, but look at, look at the guy right there. He's got the red. Ferry, ferry's in a tight spot. 
What's the deal? The ferry that was supposed to take us across ran out of gas. So uh, now we're taking a, a nighttime riverboat cruise. Just to get out here has been very, very, very difficult. An ass kicker. We're going to be setting up a small base camp. We're going to set up all of our gear, rig up the fly rods, hop in the boats, and start working our way up river. I grabbed everything I needed. Some old socks, a marlin fly, some bug juice, rum, and some garbage bags. I think I should be able to make it for at least a week or two. We've got to be careful about how much stuff that we pack and bring with us just because we don't have a whole lot of room in these boats. We're getting ready to fish. Uh, we're gonna start fishing right out here and work our way all the way to a uh, confluence of three rivers today. We've gone about 10 miles up the river so far, set up two base camps, we've explored two lagoons, we've made 5,000 casts, we've changed our line from floating to sinking, to flies this big, to flies this big, to every color in the rainbow. We can't catch anything over three pounds. This fly is specifically designed to only catch big fish. Oh, oh, that must be a big one. <laughs> that one just got lucky as all. <laughs> you know, there's like four different varieties of these, you know, smaller peacocks that we're catching down here. We're, we're on the hunt for, you know, these big fish, you know, the white buffalo, but. Law of motive number 12. It's not easy, period. This is a wide river. There's no structure, it's just sand beaches. I don't know much about peacock bass, but if I was a big peacock bass, I wouldn't be down in this stuff. There's a reason why there's not a lot of folks out here, because everything wants to kill you. It's the pinnacle of evolution. Nothing freezes, so everything just keeps on evolving and everything just gets better and meaner. Yeah, those things are poisonous stuff, yeah. The worst bugs I think we've ever run into. I'm having a freakish reaction to the bug bites. It's just, it's just out of control. I keep on getting new bites. I, I use 99% deep all over me now. They still get through. I've been told that the snakes around here are highly venomous. Hit him with this. Yeah, with this. Going right into camp. Whack it. Kill this. It's going right to my hand. Too late, man. Whack it. Crocs are right out there right where we're walking along the beach or taking a bath. is all we can do to escape the heat of the day. Sitting a river full of piranha. You gotta keep an eye out for all of this stuff because there, there's a lot of sh in this jungle that wants to f you up. Got some uh, strange sticks here, Chris. What's going on I'll here? I'll tell you what that is. That's Colombian Bigfoot right there. <laughs> that is playing this stuff. I haven't seen Chris take a bath though. He's always doing some sort of dance or Tai Chi or something oh. on the beach and he stinks up the whole place. About a three hour boat ride up river this morning to get to this massive lagoon. Seems like every fifth cast we catch a... Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, little guy. Which one? It's a battle to get to these big fish. Monster. The holy grail is 10 pounds above. Little shakers. But man, it just seems like every fish we catch is... There you go. These little guys. Geofish. Average fish all over the world. <laughs> A lot of people think that it's all about the big fish. Well, it's not. Right, we can catch big fish if we wanted to, but we're kind of targeting the little fish, and that's a lot harder to do. Right here, put it right in front of the boat. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Dude, there's like a hundred of them but, in this pool. Uh, once you see, Come on. oh, that was a big boy. A larger fish can get to. That's all I'm thinking about right now. It's all just these little guys. Yeah, lunch. That's what's for lunch. I have at least a half a filet. We're getting really sick of eating rice and beans and baby bass three meals a day. Dude shot a bird. Have something other than fish. Bird. Chris has not stopped talking about killing some animals and eating them. In the evening, let's go kill. See if we can't find a game trail, we can't find some tracks. He's the provider of the group, or so he calls himself. We rounded a corner on a long straight of the river, pointing at the shoreline, and we see these copy bears, a family of like 11 of them. We gotta kill them somehow. All of our mouths just start salivating. Can't eat another peacock bass. Well, you get the babies. Chris hops out of the boat with his massive buoy knife, and he thinks he's gonna stab one of these things. <laughs> the provider strikes again. That thing was the size of a wild pig. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think they were that big. They didn't look that big from afar. I personally do not have high hopes. Pretty much everything that we thought was gonna happen hasn't happened. 
I got the eyes on the prize. I just want, that's what I want. I want a big ass fish and I want it right now. Now, would, would you just try not to catch a big fish? I can't go much farther upriver because uh, apparently there's coke labs upriver. We're already too far as is. We came here to find some big peacock bass. The only thing that I can think of is there's bigger bass upriver. The water's clear, we should see them. The last 12 miles of river I think we've found there's nothing here. We just need to keep pushing a little further up, up river. We've got to keep going. The problem is, is that everyone else that's on this trip, aside from us, doesn't want to push deeper. They want to stay in that base camp because they, it's kind of their safety area. They know that there's coke labs up the river. They know that there's some dangers that exist if we keep pushing further up into this river. We want to go. I mean, we have to get into some bigger fish, and this spot is not going to do it for us. I've been on whitewater, we all have around the globe, but holy shit. So we just pulled up to one of the gnarliest sections of uh, rapids that we've seen yet on the river. They're 10 feet from going down those rapids and motor busted. The, the hydraulics that are that are going on back there are absolutely oh, yeah, crazy. I don't think it's gonna be navigable. I don't think that we're gonna be able to go through that. And these little aluminum boats, I wouldn't trust them. Bad stuff could happen on that river boat ride up to the river. He can't get his motor started. We're, we're coming down on rapids. We need to do something. Hey. How about a paddle? Yeah. Paddle, paddle, paddle. River. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Back, 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 back. Oh, no, no, no. Dude, that was close. I thought for sure we were going down. It's not an adventure till something goes wrong. We came up to a pretty gnarly section in the river, and we knew we weren't going to be able to get past it. What we decided to do was to unpack all the boats, and carry them. We knew we had enough people, enough hands available that we'd actually be able to lift these boats up, motor and all, basically just portage the boats across about a 200 yard stretch of rock where we could bypass the rapids. One down, how many to go? Five more, five more to go. This is how you move a boat in Colombia. One, two, three. Massive holes, you step into them and you just disappear. Easy to snap a leg, it's not safe. There's the possibility for a world record peacock bass. The only problem is getting up there. Luckily we have all the villagers and all the help possible to portage everything past these falls. And beyond that is the promised land. Back up in some of these remote rivers that we're gonna be near, there lies a bunch of coke labs and we've got a lot of concern that we might be running into some of these people and their operations, and none of us wanted to get in the middle of that. This is bullshit. We just roll back into camp after fishing. And we hear gunshots. A good ways up river, there's some cocaine labs. Well, they saw somebody filming or whatever it is. Yeah. Anyway, they're, they've been going up, and I saw them with these big long boats full of gasoline and acetone. And, uh, don't film this. Okay. So no one wants to see if they're just bluffing or not. Okay, there is coke labs up the river, and that's a fact. That's right, man. I just don't You're want to. You're absolutely you know, positive. I'm pretty sure my wife wants me to come home. So do yeah. my kids. I'll, I got a little I'll girl who's got her birthday next week. Just tell them that my friends buy half their product. We're at three forks in the river right now. We knew there was labs on one of these forks, and apparently it's this one right here. Find somewhere else new to fish because it's not worth taking a bullet in the head to catch a big peacock bass, not for me anyway, so. And they just came in and basically fired off a warning shot saying, you guys have to get out of here by tomorrow night. We've got uh, less than 24 hours to be off of this beach. They said, if you don't make it out tomorrow, we'll kill you. I'm not joking about, it. don't make it out tomorrow, they're gonna kill us. <laughs> There's some concerns about the history of the area with the cartel and everything, but you know. We're here one more night. We got no choice. I mean, all the research that we've done, we know, we really feel that, you know, this is the epicenter of the place. Tomorrow is our last chance and our last hope. This is where these big Colombian peacocks are gonna be, so. Tomorrow, we're hoping is that the grande, the world record fish, potentially is right here. And that's madness. We only have enough fuel for one more day you know, we're gonna figure out a way to make it happen. You know, hopefully, you know, nothing bad happens to us. It's, uh, it's our last chance to catch big peacocks. You know, this is, this is do or die. It's now or never. Hoping, hoping, 
Our fingers are crossed. So it's either gonna get really good or one of us is gonna die. This is where we're gonna get some big fish, man. Whoa, that was a big fish over there. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. There goes another one. Yeah. That was a peacock bass eating the monkey. Sounds like someone's dropping pumpkins in the water around us. Did you see that? No. What? There was a school of them. The minute I threw that fly in there, the five fish all over, yeah. all on top of it at once. Yeah. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's coming at it. There's three. Oh, crush it. Whoa. Get that shit down the angle. Oh man, that's got some weight to it. Ooh, it's trying to get me under a log. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's just glued to the bottom. I think he might have me wrapped on something. Oh. oh. This is just this isn't your day, man. It's not happening. Where to break? Just above the uh, knot. Oh no. I don't know what the deal is, man. I need 60 pound test on these fish. Yeah, we're fishing 40 pound test and we're breaking off. Second one today, second big one. Man, that was a heartbreaker. That was a monstrous fish. I could not stop him. We've been trying so hard to get a big fish. We've just been beat down catching lots of peacocks, but little guys. And then finally, he's coming at it. He's back there. He's three, back there. three strips later. Uh, yeah, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't lose him. Oh. Oh, I don't want to get him. Oh, he's got the bump. He's got this like gnarly thing on his head for head butt. It's like a toilet bowl flush right there. <laughs> really pissed off toilet bowl. Oh, what? You lost him? You're done, dude. I did not expect that, that much of a fight. I felt undergunned with it. What is it, a 10 weight? Prepare to get your ass handed to you. Got him. Yeah. That's a big peacock. Get him on the reel. Hold him, hold him. Here we go. Oh. Man. Crank, 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 crank. Okay. Gotta get him. You gotta get him. Don't let him go into that log, Chris. No, 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 no. My log, I'm tight. He went straight oh, under it. That's a big log. Oh. We're free. No, we're not. Let, no. let him. He's gonna go in. He's going in. It's good shit. Still got him. Still got him. I don't understand what he's saying. Put the rod under. He just disappeared. Oh my god, dude, they're just every, everywhere. There's a big one down there. Oh, yes. oh, oh. Yeah, that's a big fish, man. When you get that big one like that, I mean, it's it's a fight. There's no question about it. Who is this thing? I have never caught anything as colorful. Oh, yeah. Especially in fresh water as that. That thing was powerful. <laughs> if we land this thing. Oh, please don't break, Rod. Please don't break. Stop <laughs> He's still on. Here we go, Brian. Grab the camera. I still got him. He's still on. He's still on. He's right there. Oh, he is not happy either. Oh, we got him. You weren't supposed to land this fish, Chris. No. Get him on the beach. Nuts. How do I still have this fish right now? Oh. And that's it. Day one for Peacock Bass Columbia. Out fishing with the drug cartel. Oh, damn. Big one? <laughs> oh, shit. I can get here. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Get up. 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 Your fat ass is on. Get up. 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 Get Lot of horns today. <laughs> Somebody flushing the toilet. Oh my <laughs> We've just found the mother load down here in Colombia of where there are just a ton of huge peacock bass. Man, he's got these big old crushers. <laughs> We've just hooked the biggest bass of our lives. 